On Seven's Gold Coast News, no cause for alarm. Top local doctors respond to a vaccine bungle. The coast poised to prepare for the Olympics, a major announcement tipped to back the southeast bid. Tempers flare at a Broadbeach protest meeting over the lack of action on Hooning. The accused bag snatcher who was taken down by a grandmother on the run outside court. And a new local skin cancer treatment that's pain-free, faster and more effective. Live from the Gold Coast, 7 News with Rod Young. Good evening. A vaccine bungle has raised concerns about the training doctors are given to administer the Pfizer jab. Two elderly Brisbane residents were given an overdose, but local medical experts say there's no cause for alarm. Three days into the vaccination rollout and already an issue. Two elderly residents of a home in Castledine had been given an overdose of the vaccine. Aged care jabs are run by the federal government using private contractors. Healthcare Australia has now advised that the doctor had not completed the required training. He's been stood down, but top doctors here say the incident shouldn't deter others from getting the vaccine. It's a safe vaccine. Uh, the Pfizer vaccine, which is being rolled out at the moment, is very effective. The coast rollout is off to a flying start. The university hospital smashing half the state's weekly target in just two days. The Pfizer vaccine is complex to administer. Each vial contains six doses and it has to be diluted before it's injected. It's understood the training is through an online course. They all go through about seven hours of training. It is training that they do on the, on the computer. Um, but so it's, uh, they're told exactly what to do and, and how to do it. How a doctor slipped through the cracks now under investigation. Carly Madsen, 7 Gold Coast News. Queensland has again shut its border to arrivals from New Zealand after more COVID cases there. The Gold Coast still has just one active case, while Queensland's total remains at seven active cases, with no new cases recorded in the past 24 hours. The Gold Coast could learn later tonight whether it should start preparing to help host the Olympic Games in 11 years. The South East bids tipped to be named as the preferred candidate. In 2018, the Gold Coast shone on the international sporting stage. In 2032, the spotlight on our city is set to be far bigger. To have a home games in your country is every athlete's dream. South East Queensland has put in a bid to host the Olympics with a major role for the coast. Tonight, it's expected to be named the preferred candidate. Oh, I think it's a very strong bid. Got all the right elements. It's, it's athlete focused. Our effectiveness in handling the pandemic and hosting the Commonwealth Games, boosting our resume. Look around the Gold Coast and look at the infrastructure we got from it. Um, it's been so beneficial. It's hoped staging the Olympics will be the catalyst for more. It's already all there. It's a matter of utilising what we've already got and making sure that our transport services work correctly. The International Olympics Committee is meeting tonight in Switzerland and is expected to announce a preferred candidate around 2am Queensland time. If it is the South East, more details about the coast's plans will be unveiled tomorrow. Amelia Radham, 7 Gold Coast News. And we'll have more on that story in the news at six. Well, more than 100 angry protesters have demanded action from authorities to tackle hooning in the heart of Broadbeach. Jordan Bissell was at their crisis meeting. Tempers flared among residents and business owners at the meeting in Broadbeach today. Many are fed up with what they believe is inaction from police and the local and state governments on Hooning. Now you guys are having lots of discussions, but you're not doing anything. Surf Parade in particular has fallen prey to brazen hoons, using the busy strip as their own personal racetrack. And you're going to have a little child die because you haven't got off your back. The issue, locals say, has been going on for years and they're sick of their complaints being ignored. Police say that's news to them. It's really only come to our attention in the last 24 hours. As local councillor Darren Taylor addressed the meeting in Federation Park, many were keen to have their say. Three years ago, we were told speed bumps would go in there. It hasn't happened. Councillor Taylor has met with police to discuss what can be done before it's too late. And uh, we're prepared now to go back with some information that they've provided as well as the other stakeholders here, including the community group. Anyone with photo or video evidence of hooning is asked to contact local police and we'll have more on what police and council plan to do in the news at six o'clock. 
Thanks, Jordan. An accused bag snatcher has had to run a gauntlet of cameras and hecklers after appearing in Southport Court. It's alleged 42-year-old Troy Bennett is the thief who was tackled by a 55-year-old grandmother after grabbing her handbag last month. He was on the run this morning after his case was adjourned and he faced the taunts of bystanders outside court. Well, Bennett will be hoping for a less hostile reception at his next appearance in April. Well, Mayor Tom Tate has confirmed that the council's chief executive, Dale Dixon, will not be reappointed to the job. He's been the city's CEO for nearly 18 years, serving under three mayors. In a note to council staff, the mayor praised Mr Dixon as an excellent chief executive. His successor is reported to be senior state bureaucrat David Edwards who worked on plans for a Coast Global Tourism Hub. An official announcement is expected shortly. Well, the coast has escaped any major damage from last night's wild storm, but parts of Helensvale suffered a blackout. Storm clouds began menacing our skyline from 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. They followed a hot and sticky day here and searing plus 40 temperatures out west. As dusk fell, the rain started falling and blankets of lightning repeatedly lit up the city. Just after six, it became a challenging drive home for commuters as thunder rumbled. And the rain became heavier. Hundreds of flashes forked across the sky like spider webs, many of them horizontal. Woo! There's one for you. Around 1,500 local homes and businesses lost power for two hours. Most were in Helensvale. The storm passed quickly, leaving no significant damage. The heaviest rainfall was 51 millimetres at Currumbin Creek, with 28 at Springbrook and 25 at Talabudra Creek. The seaway received just 11 millimetres. Crystal Etherington, 7 Gold Coast News. Paul Bird will have more on the weather shortly, but next, what Gold Coasters think of the job seeker payments boost. Plus, beware of cyber hackers, how they cost a plumbing business $10,000. Why this man broke into SeaWorld in the middle of the night. And the skin cancer removal that's pain-free, faster and more effective. Tonight on 7 News, Queensland 2032, the bid that won over Olympic bosses. Two aged care Queenslanders overdosed in a COVID vaccine bungle. The daring rescue of a pet dog from a cliff face. The new nasal spray lifting ladies libido. And where to get quick click and collect groceries. 7 News at 6pm. Take to the pavement this April for a fun family challenge. The 7 News Gold Coast Running Festival is here. Race with your friends, little ones and loved ones with your choice of five race distances. It's an event for everyone. Join in on the fun and register now. For more info, visit gcrunningfestival.com.au. 2020 threw plenty of curveballs, but nothing was going to get in the way of making my renovations happen. That's why I got a great low-rate personal loan from Society One, the smarter way to save on interest. Because I have a good credit history, I got a great rate. I could borrow anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000 with no monthly fees and no early repayment fees. So, take control of your interest. Make it happen with Society One. Being stuck at home is no day at the beach. That's what stays is for. Private stays holiday home with a pool right on the beach, away from everything and everyone except each other, and with plenty of room to reconnect. You don't have to go far to get away together. Book the home that makes the holiday with stays. At Image Blinds, you'll save 25% off plantation shutters. Shutters are a stylish way to finish any room and will transform your home. Plus, enjoy 25% off security doors and screens. Search Image Blinds for a free measuring quote. Take a look. The top prize for KFC Supercoach NRL is 50 grand. That's 50,000 reasons why you don't want to lose. Being made to catch the bus home like this is just one of them. Register today at supercoach.com.au. Hungry Jack's Penny Pinchers Everyday Savings are here. Get crispy, thick-cut small chips for only $1. Or try Rainbow Bursties with new bubblegum large frozen for only $2. 
penny pinches everyday value. Only at Hungry Jacks. With RACQ, membership makes all the difference. That's why RACQ Bank puts you before profits. With competitive loans, benefits for members and home lenders that come to you. Book a chat today. <laughs> Whoa, grizzly bear. In Australia? Run, we should run. Wait, I got this. What? Oh, good one, Gary. Smith! Oh, it's leaving. Chip? You can't resist the call of Smiths. When you're with NIB, it's easy to get the most out of your health cover with the NIB app. You can find a provider near you, check how much you have left on your extras cover, submit a hospital or extras claim in an instant with photo claiming, or with an Android phone, you can also use your digital member card for contactless claiming. Download the NIB app today and put your policy in your pocket. NIB. It's worth it. Everyday life as we know it, as you live it. Here at 7 News, just like you, the Gold Coast is our home. And it's right here where we report to you. From Coomera to Coolangatta, as it happens, when it matters, make it your home for all local news. 7 Gold Coast News at 5.30 and 6.00. A man in his 70s has been injured after becoming trapped under a car in the driveway of a Mudjurabar home. It took crews about 40 minutes to free the victim. He was taken to hospital in a stable condition with head and chest injuries. More than 30,000 Gold Coasters are still relying on federal handouts after losing their jobs during the peak of the pandemic. But not everyone supports the plan to increase their job seeker payments from April. When the pandemic hit, jobs vanished and the lines at Centrelink stretched for blocks. Thousands of hard-working Gold Coasters forced to join the queue for job seeker payouts. People that were in the hospitality industry, tourism, you know, all those sort of things where it closed down overnight and they'd never needed access to our services before. Mark Parsons was one of them. He worked in events and has been relying on job seeker since November. Skeleton staff's been put in place and most of us became redundant. Increasing the payments by $50 a fortnight is receiving a mixed reaction. I'm quite annoyed with how much is being handed out because I think it's stopping people from actually getting out there and working. I don't think it's enough, personally, no. I think it needs to be a, a little bit more for the genuine people that can't get a job. An employer's line has been set up to report those who reject jobs, but services dealing directly with those on welfare want a bigger increase. I think it's terrible. Yeah, it's not going to help people to meet their basic living requirements. I think it's 41% of the minimum wage, is, and that's just not enough. Carly Madsen, 7 Gold Coast News. Plans for a new bridge in Surfers Paradise have just been unveiled. Council is considering a proposed footbridge from Chevron Island to Surfers. It's part of Council's vision for more green bridges in the city. A Coomera plumbing business is the victim of a vicious cyber attack. The owner's warning others to beware of the internet predators. Gary Mays thought his cyber security was strong. We change passwords frequently. We have password managers. But his plumbing business has been hit hard by ransomware hackers. Couldn't get into the files on what we call the U-Drive, which is where all the files, historical files mainly, are shared. As they say, if you want access back to your data, you're going to have to pay us a, a fee and for a certain price we'll unlock your data and, and give you access back. He had cyber insurance, but it didn't cover this hacking attack, so his company is more than $10,000 out of pocket. It's scary, scary stuff for small businesses because it can send them bankrupt, and that's the reality. And it's an increasing problem. In 2020, um, some insurance providers released some statistics to say that um, about 75% increase on, on previous years. Experts say it's essential to have backups and work with cyber security companies to prevent an attack. You only need one little hole into your system and they're in. A good disaster recovery plan, so know before something happens how you're going to recover from it and test it out. Amelia Radham, 7 Gold Coast News. 
A wildlife lover has been fined $800 for breaking into SeaWorld late at night last month. Southport Court heard Luke Garman wasn't drunk but jumped a fence at the theme park because he wanted to see the seals. Was it worth it? Not really, but it was fun. No conviction was recorded. A new treatment for skin cancer is now available on the coast. It's pain-free as well as faster and more effective than other procedures. We'll reveal where you can get it in just a few minutes. Now Shane Webke has the sport next and Shane, the Suns, they're all fired up. They sure are, Rodney, and ready to bring the heat against Big Brother up the M1. The Gold Coast has held nothing back as they prepare for their showdown with the Lions. Plus, a new team and a greater goal for a local motor racing prodigy. Tomorrow on Sunrise, slash your energy bills in an instant. Four easy ways to make sure you're not paying too much. See you in the morning, Gold Coast. Tonight on 7 News, Queensland 2032, the bid that won over Olympic bosses. Two aged care Queenslanders overdosed in a COVID vaccine bungle. The daring rescue of a pet dog from a cliff face. The new nasal spray lifting ladies' libido. A way to get quick click and collect groceries. 7 News at 6pm. It's our nation's most iconic racetrack. And the supercar season begins right here. Bathurst. For the first time in a quarter century, a sprint race at Mount Panorama. I think you know Bathurst. You've never seen it like this. The supercars are back where they belong, here on 7 and streaming on 7 Plus. The Mount Panorama 500, live and free, Saturday from noon. On 7. Bring it on. In. With RACQ, membership makes all the difference. That's why RACQ Bank puts you before profits. With competitive loans, benefits for members and home lenders that come to you. Book a chat today. At Specsavers, get free polarised lenses in your second pair when choosing two pairs from the $149 range or above and save $100. Offer ends March 3. Thousands of humans have taken the Pepsi Max taste challenge, and 55.8% preferred Pepsi Max. <sighs> you can't argue with that. Victory tastes good. When something goes wrong and you're injured at work or on the road, you need the right advice. Contact Shine Lawyers to access compensation through your superannuation. I can't afford to be off work. Shine Lawyers. Let's right wrong. Discover new details about your family story with Ancestry DNA. Find out your ethnic mix. Connect to family, past and present and discover what led to you. Order your kit at Ancestry.com.au. Get in. Bold is standing out, never blending in. It's unapologetically chunky and never thin. Bold is savoured, never swift. It's plentiful, rich, sensations ignite. Old gold is bold in every bite. We work with you to map a path to your goals and work together to help you reach them. You can relax knowing your bills are paid on time and your savings are growing. Call my budget today to book your free consultation. The new Queensland service revolutionising how we buy and sell second-hand goods. It doesn't cost you a thing. Whether it's finding bargains or making you thousands of dollars. So I probably made about $2,000. I put a car in there and within an hour I sold it. And if you're looking for a job, it's got that covered too. 7 Gold Coast News at 5.30 and 6.00. The Suns have resumed training at Metricon Stadium for the first time in almost a year. An ultra-competitive match simulation set the tone for Saturday's scratch match with the Lions. Bombarded by the sound of can cheers. 25 days out from experiencing the real deal, the Suns scrapped it out, no holds barred. 
a fiery match sim in Metricon, the Suns' first session on the ground since COVID hubs turned their turf into a stadium for hire. Extra excited this morning because we found out that we're training on Metricon. Yeah, there's probably a bit more energy out there today. Helped by a looming date with the Lions, with Saturday's scratch match set to break the monotony. We're sick of playing each other in little scratch matches at training. It's been happening since December. The reserves will play off ahead of the main teams. Can't fit 46 into 22, so there's, there's spots up for grabs. There's a few players vying for that wing spot, but... um. Yeah, I'm not going to give mine up just yet. The Suns will host the Lions again on March 8. After all, pre-season games were rescheduled in order to avoid interstate travel. Mitchell Crone, 7 Gold Coast News. Carrara Racing driver Brock Feeney is out to prove he's ready to join the big boys in the Supercars main series. The Triple Eight back teenager launches his Super 2 campaign this weekend. Brock has unfinished business in Bathurst and knows Mount Panorama's perils all too well. Oh no, Brock Feeney. He reset, debuting as a co-driver 24 hours later, finishing fourth on his 18th birthday. Four months on, he'll pick up where he left off. I feel like I'm going back for my third time at the mountain. Um, best prepared, better than I have been. With the backing of a supercar's superpower. After Triple Eight poached Tickford's teen star. The opportunity to join them and the interest that those guys were looking at me was, you know, something special. Jamie Wincup becomes his boss next year. So could Feeney be the heir to the 88 throne? Pretty flattering, actually. A lot of people have been, you know, picking my name to come up for this role. But Brock will know when he's ready. Everyone that sort of wins a Super 2 championship is normally ready to step up into the main game. Um, and, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to win that. That campaign begins on Saturday. Mitchell Crone, 7 Gold Coast News. Sam Stoza has fallen short in a generational battle. The veteran was dispatched by young Aussie Madison Inglis in the opening round of the Adelaide International. Stoza left the court with a leg injury while leading in the third set, allowing Inglis to claw back victory. This young West Aussie and the relief of it all. Stoked to get the win. I could see Sam wasn't 100% um, in the third set, so I hope everything's OK. Inglis said it was a special experience to play against her idol. And, Rod, that is our midweek sport. OK, thank you, Shane. See you tomorrow. Well, coming up after the break, a new pain-free treatment for skin cancers. We'll reveal why it's faster and more effective and where you can get it. Sneaky Susie is up to something. Now I'm going to find out all of your secrets. Don't worry, I'm not here to snoop on you. She's got him under her spell. You've made me believe in myself again. Bit by bit, <laughs> inch by inch. What on earth did I do to deserve you, Susie McAllister? She's got him hooked. You're coming. But why? Home and away, tonight at 7 on 7. You don't have to quit alone. You've got family to call on, mates to count on. And Nicorette's new Spearmint Gum, which acts fast and lasts. In fact, there are 141 fewer Aussie smokers each week. Now's the time to join the quitters. Can't believe some health insurers don't let you use your extras limits the way you want. Yeah. Oh, what a clock of shit. Does your health insurer offer cover that lets you use your extras limits your way? Don't settle for a quack of shit. Join HBF today. Terry Shear, Australia's leading landlord insurance specialist, provides the cover you need for your property and rental income. As a first-time investor, Terry Shear provides the security I need. Call Terry Shear or go online. Having a home to feel safe in has never felt more important. And with home loan know-how from your local Rams Home Loan Specialist, we can help you feel supported every step of the way. Rams, greater together. New and improved Nivea Cellular Filler with powerful hyaluronic acid plus 4% by OxyLift. Visibly plumps, fills and firms skin. 94% of women agree. Discover new cellular filler range from Nivea. Audible is excellent for unwinding in bed with a cuppa. 
It doesn't smell like a cup of tea. Well, it's not not tea. It's hard tea. What are you, the tea police? Download the Audible app and start listening today. For the love of giving them more space to move, get 100% cotton pointail bodysuits for just $4. That's wow. That's best and less. Let's check the stories just ahead in the news at six with Sharon Gadella. Rod, tonight the COVID vaccine blunder, two Queenslanders in aged care overdosed and the GP didn't even notice. The mistake picked up by a nurse, so how much training are the doctors given before giving the shot? Queensland 2032, the bid that won over Olympic bosses. We'll have more on the fiery anti Hoon meeting by a fed up Gold Coast community. Tiger Woods badly hurt rolling his car. The daring rescue of a pet dog from a cliff face, plus the new way of buying and selling second-hand goods and finding casual work all in one place. Details of the new Viagra for women and click and collect groceries in a flash, the new Gold Coast supermarket service. Those stories and more coming up next in 7 News at 6. Thanks, Sharon. As anyone who's had a skin cancer removed knows, it can be a painful and lengthy process. But a new removal technique here on the coast is proving pain-free, faster and more effective. It's being hailed as a game-changer for the Gold Coast. Does it hurt you then? Not at all. Skin cancer is removed in just a fraction of the time with a fraction of the pain. In this technique, we can generally make the hole about 50% smaller than what we can traditionally. That means minimal scarring, perfect for skin cancers on the face and neck. I didn't feel a thing. Judith Ingram was on the table just five days ago. She had a basal cell carcinoma removed from her ear here at Pindara Private Hospital. I thought it was probably going to be a bit more involved. Fantastic procedure because it's all done in one day. Morse therapy works by taking a thin sample of the cancer while a patient is under anaesthetic. The surgeon then examines everything under a microscope and carefully removes it layer by layer. The entire process means the patient can be in and out and cancer free in just three hours. Unlike other procedures which aren't guaranteed to remove all the cancer in one go, this technique promises a 99% success rate, meaning it's less likely patients will need to come back. Once it's completely clear, he does the repair. Jordan Bissell, 7 Gold Coast News. Well, some more storm clouds are over the coast tonight. Should we be worried, Paul? Well, not where I am at the Mermaid Surf Club here, Rodney, I can assure you of that. But, uh, look, a lot of fun. Uh, we had a great lightning show last night, more than a quarter of a million lightning strikes across the southeast. Uh, quite intense at times, up to 50 millimetres of rain falling around Currumbin, 30 millimetres at Rabina in less than half an hour as well. But uh, a few more showers on the cards tonight, nothing like last night. I've got Michael here from the uh, Community Liaison Officer from the Mermaid Surf Club. Mick, we're turning 75, not you, mate, but the club is, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. This year's a big year for us. 75 years of um, life-saving and um, we've got plenty of events lined up. Um, major one being our, our 75th anniversary day, which is a big lunch in the park across the road here where everybody's welcome and we're finishing it up with a, um, a big celebratory dinner to, to really wrap up the, the 75 year season. So yeah, come, all good. Come on down and check it out. They've got a, a, in the midst of refurbishing, but it's all happening. Hey, let's check out the weather, the radar. Yeah, a couple of clouds building this afternoon, looking a little bit ominous, but not too bad by the end of the day. A couple of showers on the forecast tonight. Pack Pines, 25 degrees, winds east 32 k's today. Highs are 28 and 29 across the majority of the coast. Chart shows that inland trough pushing through. Clearly with that, we're going to see some activity building. It's sort of holding a bit steady. It's being buffeted by that high to the south. That's dragging onshore winds to us. A bit of moisture, meaning showers will be triggered tomorrow morning. Then it will break up as the day progresses. So it's looking OK for tomorrow afternoon, particularly into Friday. Now, as we take a look around the Gold Coast tomorrow, we'll see temperatures climbing up to 28 degrees for Narang, down to 21 overnight, 19, 29 Canungra, 21 to 29 for Burley. Surface paradise, 22 to 29 degrees and a shower or two in the morning on the water, east-northeast winds, 15 knots. And that means for surfing, hey, you're going to find those open beaches a little bit too exposed, but I'd be hitting the points. That will be the go. Water temp, 26 degrees. So be aware of that. It's around chest high. So tomorrow, TOS, northern parts of the coast, that'll be your best bet if you're keen to head out there. Let's look ahead now. Uh, Friday, partly cloudy. 
30 degrees. It's warming up Saturday. Round two for the showers late in the afternoon, though. 30 degrees. And warming back up Sunday, 20 to 30. Looking all right. Mate, I hear the meals here are great. Veal parmigiana, seafood <laughs> pappardella. I'll order it for you, Rodney. <laughs> OK, thank you, Paul. And thanks for your company this evening. Back with more Coast News and Weather tomorrow at 5.30. See you then. Good night.